Hey, everybody. Welcome to Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. <laughs> I have some exciting news to share with you before we dive into today's topic. And today's topic is Thanksgiving food swaps part one. So before I get into that, I just want to give everybody who has listened to this podcast a huge shout out. So you may be listening to this on another channel because I post this podcast on YouTube, on Facebook, um, Instagram, Insta, uh, IG, TV. Um, I post it everywhere. But if you have been listening to the podcast, in particular Apple Podcasts, I want to thank you because today and yesterday, Shape It Up Over 40 podcast has been ranked number 77 in the fitness category in the United States. So I am so thrilled and I love that you guys are listening. If you are really loving the podcast, I would love a review from you. Just head down to the bottom of the Apple podcast. It's super easy to do. Just leave a review and I'm going to read it on the podcast. Even if I don't read it on the podcast, I love reading feedback from you guys. So if you have a minute or two, please leave a review. It also helps the podcast move up in the ranks. And being the ambitious person that I am, I would love to see Shape It Up Over 40 podcast in the number one spot, of course, but even in the top 20, that would be so awesome. So thank you guys so much for listening and hang with me because from now until the end of the year, I'm going to be giving you all kinds of holiday tips so you can navigate your way through the holidays. All right. So we are coming up to Thanksgiving, right? And if you are hosting Thanksgiving this year, you can not only make your life easier and stay on your fitness plan or your weight loss journey, but you can also help out some family members too. So the swap ideas are great for buffet style Thanksgiving. We tend to do that. But even if you're doing a family style sit down, there are definitely some tips that you can use. So Welcome to Shape It Up. I don't, it, my name is Nicole, so if I missed that um, introduction here, I am your host to the Shape It Up podcast, and I help women lose weight for the last time. I generally work with women who are over 40, and my clients are losing weight and making lasting changes in their life through fitness, nutrition, and most importantly, mindset. If you don't have your mind in the right spot, you can have the perfect fitness plan and you can have the perfect nutrition outline plan and not do it. So <laughs> we want to make sure that you're doing it and getting the results that you want. So if you're interested in learning more about how we can work together, head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat. All right, so let's dive into today's topic. Today, we're talking about Thanksgiving food swaps. This is going to be part one. I'm going to post part two tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so first thing up, appetizers, right? And vegetable dips. So a lot of times you'll have crudite uh, sitting out and you'll have vegetable, vegetable dips. And if you're making your own vegetable dips, there are some swaps that you can do. So you can make your veggie dip with hummus instead or even blended cauliflower. It's amazing how cauliflower can just be mixed into uh, things and never know, right? <laughs> so the secret into vegetable dips is really the spices that you use. So feel free to experiment. Um, if you're not sure you want to experiment on the day of Thanksgiving, do a couple small dips ahead of time throughout the week and see if you like them. Number two, make soups. So what I like about soups, and I'm really not a big soup person, um, I think it's because when I was little, I always got chicken noodle soup when I was sick and I relate chicken noodle soup to being sick. Not that that's the only soup. I do love the creamy soups, um, but I can't really enjoy them anymore because I'm lactose intolerant. I digress. But you can serve soup bowls in small single size serving bowls or have small bowls ready for whoever wants to ladle out a portion size of soup. So soups are good because they're filling and you can make them really healthy and you can make different types of soups. Um, you know, it's kind of like an appetizer. All right, dinner rolls. Who doesn't love dinner rolls? Now, I do love dinner rolls and I am now gluten-free. So I have to kind of tweak what I can have. But if you can have dinner rolls, have them. You could skip the dinner rolls altogether if you don't want to have dinner rolls. Um, I tend to get the really, really tiny dinner rolls. Like I love, my family loves the Hawaiian bread. 
I think it's King's Hawaiian, uh, and they're pretty small, they're pretty tiny. So the portion size is smaller. Um, but you could uh, have, again, it depends on the person, like obviously somebody could grab five smaller rolls, but if you portion them out into smaller sizes, you're more likely to grab a smaller portion size rather than like the big, big piece of bread um, rolls and you'll eat the whole thing. So dinner rolls, you can either skip or you can go for a smaller portion size. Next up is cranberry sauce. I say go for the real stuff. If you get, I do like the canned stuff, I have to say, but if you can get low sugar, I think that's the biggest thing with that one if you wanna swap out for a healthier alternative. Um, you know, the canned is usually has a lot of sugar in it, but if you get real cranberries and just add a little bit of honey and a couple drops of orange juice, it'll kind of balance out the acidity of the cranberries. So that's an option that you can switch out. On to a fan favorite, stuffing, right? <laughs> I would ditch the box of stuffing that you can get because it's usually filled with a lot of chemicals, a lot of salt, sometimes sugar, um, things that you don't really need. I make a very, very simple stuffing uh, and it's very easy to do. And if you want to know what I make for Thanksgiving, I have a free, um, download that you can grab on my website and it's basically my Thanksgiving menu. It gives you the ingredients of what we have and you can use that, try out the recipes and let me know what you think. But that is what I use for Thanksgiving and inside that there's two bonuses inside of that book. So if you want to grab that, you can go to shapeitupfitness.com. It's on the homepage. Just click on that. Okay, so it is really simple to make stuffing. So what I like to do is I usually start two or three days before Thanksgiving. I air out the bread, let it kind of just open the bag a little bit and let the bread kind of um, get a little crusty. Uh, you don't want the bread to be a brick. So just kind of keep an eye on it, depending on what kind of bread you're using. You want it to kind of dry out for a day or two. What you can do is make ahead of time. You can cut the bread into cubes already. You can spread them on a baking sheet, spritz them with a little bit of olive oil and bake in the oven to crisp them up. And then, so that's what I usually do is I make them a day before Thanksgiving. Um, then I let them sit. And then the night before Thanksgiving, you can prep the stuffing. And like I said, there's a yummy recipe in my Thanksgiving um, menu ebook. And you can get that at shapeitupfitness.com. You can also swap stuffing for wild rice and cranberries. And I did this a couple years ago and it was delicious. So that is another option. You can, if you listen to my podcast, I don't know what day it was, but it was talking about how you take traditional foods and instead of making the traditional food, you just completely make a brand new dish. Um, I use the example of, um, I think it was candied yams mashed potatoes. I don't know. You have to go back and listen to the podcast. So check that out. <laughs> uh, the last tip I'm going to give for today for part one is mashed potatoes. So you can swap out half of the potatoes for mashed cauliflower. The key with cauliflower is to make sure you drain it really well. So your potatoes don't turn all watery. Um, the other option is you could just go full tilt and make it completely mashed cauliflower. Just don't tell them. <laughs> See if they notice. So those are some of the swaps that you can do for Thanksgiving. Again, tomorrow part two will be out and I will be diving into a little bit more dishes and turkey and desserts. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, with all the swaps that ideas that I'm giving you, keep in mind that it really is about your stomach and your goals and your brain. So I know that I tend to eat a little bit more on Thanksgiving than I do on a normal day. And I like to pick my favorite foods and enjoy them without guilt. If you're only eating like this for a handful of times out of the year, say like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, your birthday, maybe Easter, depending on what holidays you celebrate, it's not really that big of a deal. What happens is, is if you overconsume food on a regular basis, that's when the holiday pounds start packing on. And, you know, as of today, I know the numbers for COVID unfortunately are going up in our area and COVID is a whole nother factor this year about people gaining weight. 
And if you haven't heard the COVID-19 or the COVID-20 pounds that people are gaining, you can avoid that. You can not gain any weight in COVID and you can, you know, be on the path for your weight loss journey. The key is to really have your head in the right space, the mindset to going into your weight loss goals and the mindset to going into your Thanksgiving. So if you want help with this, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat and happy to set up a consult with you. And we'll just talk about where you're at and where you want to go on the call. The call itself is super valuable. So definitely jump on. Um, We'll discuss how we can work together, but regardless, you're going to walk away from that call and you're going to have some valuable information given to you that's going to help you jumpstart your weight loss. All right. So that's it for me today. Make sure you subscribe and tune in tomorrow because I will be continuing the food swaps for Thanksgiving tomorrow. All right. I will talk to you then. Have a wonderful day.